Zaid. Ah, drat! All right, folks, today we have simply the saddest single, Sabotage Their Chance to Find Love on the Button, Hopeless Edition. Now, it seems that as though this man here is exposing his full chest piece to this woman along with his nipples and his titty meat. So let's go ahead and get into this and see how it feels. Hi. I'm Nick. Nick, I'm Liz, nice to Liz, meet you. Liz, nice to meet you. Okay, tell me about yourself, Liz. Oh, yeah, um, I love reading. Okay, what kind of book, what's your like favorite book right now? Uh, my favorite book right now is Earthling. I think it's based in South Korea. Well, I'm not Korean, so I don't know much about South Korea. I'll be honest with you, I really love tattoos, as mm -hmm. you can see. Yeah. Uh, I want to be a tattoo artist one day, okay. that's the whole Very goal. Cool. Holy fuck, holy fuck, this guy is just like word vomit right now. You know, when you volunteer a lot of information about yourself without being asked, that's always a good thing to do on a first date, you know? That always kind of communicates that you have a healthy sense of who on this earth matters the most. Do you know what I'm saying? I'm judging this kid pretty hard from the three sentences that he said. He's just very, very, well, that's cool. Reading? Cool. Well, let's talk about tattoos instead because that's my interest. Would you like to see my chest tattoo? Do I have to say yes? Off that off. Okay. Do I have to say yes? And he's like, well, it's already happening. So it's already going. Do I have to say yes? Yeah. Cuts back to him. Sorry about that. I apologize. Zaid, you know, let's make sure we put a healthy blur on that. Or don't. Or or just make me look like a fucking fool. Like normal. Zaid! Ah! Drat! Off that off. Okay. Bye. Damn. Dude, wow, damn. Thanks. I mean, that's a full on, that's a full color chess piece. And he is fucking stoked on that. I'm happy for him, honestly. I'm fired up that he's fired up about it. He clearly doesn't give a fuck about this dating show or whatever he's doing. He clearly only cares about this. And that's pretty cool that he found his passion. He truly found his passion. Okay. But Damn. I'm tatted. Yeah. I see that you have tattoos now. I, I didn't notice that. Yeah. But yeah, I don't get to show that one that off that okay. much. Nick isn't the biggest fan of vegans. If you're just out there eating grass all day, what am I gonna do? Yeah, so I'm, you don't like vegetables? No, but I'm just looking for a girl that can eat a chicken bone, like, clean. <laughs> what, dude, what? What? What the fuck? What kind of a, what, what, do you, what kind of thing is that to say, first of all? I love the switch, too. It was like, so you don't like vegetables? And he's like, no, it's not that. It's that I'm just looking for a girl that can suck the fucking chicken off the bone clean. It's like a little creepy, isn't it? You could have just said, like, I want a girl that, that knows how to eat a steak. I'm just looking for a girl that can eat a chicken bone, like, clean. Eat <laughs> a chicken bone clean. I'm just picturing, like, a what? You know, you stick it in and then it like all the meat comes off. Is that what you want? I'm just looking for a girl that can fucking suck the shit out of a chicken bone, you know? I'm just looking for a girl that I can go to Buffalo Wild Wings and just watch her deep throw some wings, all right? Oh, like one bite. You... Oh. Like one bite, he said. <laughs> like one, if I wasn't clear enough, like literally one bite suck all the meat off the bone into the mouth. That's all I'm looking for. Is that... Is that so much to ask? I don't want some girl that's gonna be out there nibbling on the grass. Like some kind of fucking bunny rabbit. I want a girl that will suck the chicken off the fucking bone like a velociraptor. I'll be real with you. I'm not big into the reading. Okay. <laughs> I'm low-key illiterate. It's okay. I'm so- I'm low-key illiterate. Fucking put that on a shirt. That is awesome. I low-key cannot spell illiterate. Can't do it. All right, well, good Pleasure. luck, Nick. Thank you, Liz. Yeah, thank you. Bye. Bye. I hope to God he shows his chest tat to the next girl. This is nerve wracking. What's happening? I'm Nick. What's up, Nick? What's your name? Jupiter. J like, the actu you're actually named after the planet. Yeah, I'm actually a planet. I don't think I've ever met somebody named Jupiter or a planet. It's actually my alter ego. I don't think I've ever met a planet? <laughs> what is going on, man? Like, the actu you're actually named after the planet. Yeah, I'm actually a planet. I don't think I've ever met somebody named Jupiter or a planet. It's actually my alter ego. Either I've never met somebody named Jupiter or a planet. I know what he's trying to say, but it's just funny. I've never actually met a planet before. Like, ever. That's fucking crazy. You're the closest thing I've met to a planet. You're the closest I've ever been to meeting a planet is meeting you. Reason? So like there's like a time in my life where I felt like I didn't like that version of myself. So I like recreated a new version of myself and I named her Jupiter. Uh, how do you feel about tattoos? Um, oh, let's go. He's like, quit the fucking bullshit. I don't care about your two personalities. Let's talk about my passion. I don't care about whatever trauma you're about to tell me with the old life and the new life. I don't care about any of that shit. Do you like tattoos? I'm scared of needles. You're scared of needles? But are you open to the idea of getting a tattoo one day? I am. Do you want to see my chest tattoo? Oh, let's 
God, this this man is just, he's a one-trick pony. He's got a vision, and by God, we're not going to stop him, you know? Not really, but go ahead. <laughs> you didn't even really watch me in. <laughs> Ouch, Jupiter. I just feel like you're not my type. Okay. All right, bye. I do love you, though. It was nice I do to love meet you. you. Bye. I loved our Thank conversation. You. He just does not give a fuck. He's like, this is, uh, there's a tattoo shop near here. I'm just going to pop in, like, right now. Like, I just came here. I just stopped here on the way. You know? I don't care. I just, all I care about is getting new tattoos. I'm going to get a fucking Jupiter tattoo now because of this. I'm going to get a tattoo of me shaking Jupiter's hand. Like, what's up, Jupiter? Good to meet you. Finally met a planet. How did that feel, rejecting somebody? Powerful. Nice to meet you. What's, what's your, your name? name? Dylan. Oh, we asked you at the same time. Yeah, Is that no, like that's... a sign? What? Sorry. What's the What's the rings on your on your hand? So every time I go out, I try to find like a new ring. Really? So it reminds me of like where I've been. Do you have any tattoos? Right? I don't. You yeah. have. A... What the fuck is going on? This is the new fashion. This is the new fashion. Is uh, I like your tattoos. Do you have any tattoos? I like your tattoos. I love your tattoos, by the way. Tattoo. I do. I have a couple. Do you have one on your chest? You want to show us? Me? <laughs> Is that appropriate? Uh, do you want to see yeah. it? Sure. Sure, yeah. I got, it's all the way up here, and then I got these. What is happening? Why, what is going on? Why are we, we're seeing a lot of skin in this episode. Oh, I like that. Yeah, these are, so this is my mom, my oldest brother, my middle brother, and me. Oh, word. Eva birds. Oh, so cool, cool. Yeah. That's kind of like what it is. Do you find Dylan attractive? I think he's... I gotta think about it, that's great. <laughs> I just don't particularly date Asian yeah. men, so it's like not that you're not attracted. It's not. Can you? Can you say that? Can you say that? Can you? I don't typically date Asian men. If I was him, I'd be like, "That's a little fucked up." Is it not? Why not? Sounds like it might be a little bit racist. Hmm? In my life. Oh, you got my ass. <laughs> 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 that was so smooth though. Did you see I, her hands just I like? I did. I did see that. It was nice to meet yeah, you. Yeah, it was so yeah, nice to meet you. Yeah, you too. Thank you, Dylan. I find you attractive. All right, thanks, bud. She didn't know on you, or you didn't know on her? Yeah, we both at the same time. Man, she doesn't like Asians. No, that's what she said. Huh? She said. They're doing you dirty. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like it's okay, bro. Like, it's, everyone like, has a type. Like, 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 sure. Hi, nice to meet you. Hi, nice to meet you. My name's Joaquin. Joaquin. Do you two believe in God? I have really kind of- What the fuck? Totally different vibe. Oh my god, what is this outfit? This is insane. This guy looks like a professor. Radical beliefs about that. I'd like to hear them. Okay, I think Satan created the garden and Jesus was the serpent. Whoa. Okay. Wait, what? I'm sorry, I, th I think you're pretty- I just- I just- I don't think you really fuck with my theory. This has been a- this has been- already this has been a cast of characters. Maybe, maybe not all the way my type. It's okay, you're not my type either. Really? Is it the yeah. glasses? It's just everything, babe. That's fair. <laughs> I'm just kidding. You don't have to kid. Hi. Hello. You don't have to kid. <laughs> you don't have to kid. I'd prefer for you not to kid, actually. What does that even mean? You don't have to kid. Like, you can be honest. Like, I'm not your type. If you don't like me, you just be honest. Nah, you don't have to kid. Please! Why doth you insist on kidding? When you mustn't! Good afternoon or evening. Jen, nice to meet you. Uh, Jan? Jen. What's your name? Uh, Joaquin. Nice to meet you. Can you spell- Oh, man. Sorry. Is that mean of me to say this brutal voice? Hi. Hello. Good afternoon or evening. Jen, nice to meet you. Uh, Jen. Jen, nice to meet you. Jen? Jen, what's your name? Uh, Joaquin. Nice to meet you. Can you spell your name? J-E-N. I knew a J-I-N-N. -N. That's why I asked. Yeah. You would not like my first name. Jinita, spell that. Well, I'm illiterate, but J-I-N-N-I-T. <laughs> Wrong. Is this the illiterate issue? Is this, was that part of the, would the, the, like, casting call? And if so, how did they read it? Can you spell my name? Joaquin, you said? W A. Oh, you're so beautiful. K I N. Was I right? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, what do you do for work? No, it's funny. Is uh, I'm going on a work trip for about a year, starting pretty soon. It's like journalism. Oh, where are you going? Uh, in the Middle East. Yeah. In two weeks, I'm gone. I'm gone to another planet. To another planet. Yeah. Jupiter. Middle <laughs> East. Yeah, it's another planet, basically. Uh, okay. 
I'm holding back saying some wacky stuff, but yeah. So like, do you know anything about the rest of the world? Or are you just like super American then? Pretty Should much? I be offended right now about this? No, I, okay. are you woke or something? Am I woke? Yeah. Or what do you mean? I'm awake actually. Okay. Not... Ah, what's fucking happening? Oh, I hate this, I hate this. I'm awake, I'm not woke. What does that mean? Got yeah. it. I sense a little tension. What's going on? I'm I don't know how the Middle too. East is like a different planet, but you know, like I'm. I'm I mean, you can't even shake a woman's hand in that part of the world. Did you know that? I, I didn't know that until yeah. pretty recently. So it's another planet. I think this is what you consider normal here is probably a little different. What's normal over there? But so, I'm actually Bosnian. I'm. I come from an Islamic okay. family, so. So our our realm is different from other realms. Yeah, complete different. Cool, yeah, cool. realm. I think this is going well. I think they like each other. I think they're vibing. They just seem like they totally understand each other like on a human level you know no tension at all i think this is gonna go the rest of the time this is gonna go 12 more minutes and they're just gonna flirt the whole time sparks are flying those planets yeah i've also mainly We're dated all human, you know? I've, I've mainly dated like international like foreign women i dated someone from ukraine dated someone from brazil from taiwan from poland it was a pleasure why'd you reject me i think we have different worldviews. i don't think another country is a different Planet. I think you took that entirely the wrong way. So when I'm saying I'm going to a different world, I'm going to an entirely different realm that I've right. never experienced or know a lot about. And right. I mean, I, I think what he said is not unfair. It's like an entirely different culture. He's going to spend a year in that. That's a different world for some people when your world is what's in front of you. Very grateful to learn about. Yeah, and that's the so, point. I hope you learn a whole lot. That's exciting. Okay, thank you. Yeah. I, I hate her too. I don't like... Ah! Ah! You can be a little bit understanding. Like she just immediately dismissed him and was like, "No, well, you're 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 a dick. What are you woke or something?" <laughs> I'm just really confused, man. Some of these interactions just crash and burn immediately. You're welcome, bro. What happened? I said, "Yeah, I'm going to another world. I'm going to the Middle East." She's like, "Oh, I don't think that's a different world." She's lecturing me, "Oh, you're only American. You've never been to parts of the world." Hello. Good. How are you? Jen, nice to meet you. Jen? Yeah. Nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you. Is that short for Jennifer? No, Janita. Janita? Okay, yeah. very interesting. Yeah, it's a little bit of an oddball. So yeah. what are you looking for? Um, I'm getting up there in age. I'm not old. I'm 29, but I'm definitely looking oh, for no, something more serious. Chilling. Yeah, what about you? Uh, same, I would say. I dated a lot in college. No, I'm how old are you? I'm sorry. 25. 25, okay, yeah. How do you feel about younger guys? You know, I'm a little impartial to it, but I just feel like yeah. probably not in the same vibe, to be yeah, honest. I yeah. To be honest, I'm just not a big fan of like the big lips. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. I mean, you I just feel like you rarely get something. <laughs> you rarely get that where someone will say, "I'm not into this because of something physical, something very specific and physical about you." I don't think I don't when have we ever seen that? Like the I can't see you, I can't see myself walking down the street line with you was fucked up, but that's like still sort of vague. Like clearly he was talking about maybe the way she looked. But that was just like, he was like, that had nothing to do with their conversation at all. And he was like, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm just not fucking with the big lips. Sorry. But that's, I mean, it's totally, totally preference. Totally fine. Preference. It is a preference. I yeah. appreciate that. Cool. I need to know about the big lips now. Are they not natural? No, they're absolutely not. <laughs> Are you natural in other places as well? None of your fucking business. <laughs> okay, yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah, we're going to leave that there. Okay. I'm sorry. Okay. Cheers. Have a good one. <laughs> this could be one of the most uncomfortable episodes ever. Like, truly. This is, it's just tense. Wow. <laughs> I mean, why, why would you ask that? Like, come on. Why would you ask that? Like, were you sort of natural in other places or what's up? What's your hobbies? I'm very outdoorsy. I hunt and fish a lot. Yeah. What things do you hunt? Most recently, I was in Idaho and I hunted spring uh, black bear. Bears? Black bears, yeah. A lot of what people. Do you a lot of people don't think that like you like you can or you or you should, but um, yeah, it's pretty normal like across the western states. But I use all the meat and like eat everything, and it's really good. What part of the bear do you eat? Every part. Every part. That what are your deal breakers? Oh, nice. Like, yeah, yeah. Like you try to play that off. Nice. Very smooth. Very smooth. Ooh. <laughs> Deal breakers. Okay. Hunting is a big one. I guess I'm not a fan of it. Oh my gosh. This is so painful. We haven't even seen any semblance of a little spark. Nothing. There has been nothing. We got first two guys whipping their titties out. We got the journalists and fake lips headbutting about the Middle East. Then we, asked, then we got this fucking guy asking. This guy's out here killing black bears and asking girls if they got fake 
body parts. What the fuck is happening? I don't know. Oh, My dad hunts birds. But do you eat meat? Honest, I do, but like, I don't know. There's just, I'm from Texas and it's like everyone hunts and like there's yeah. just something about hunting there that I'm just like. You don't like? Yeah. Well, for me, it's like sustainability. So meat eating when you're doing like factory farms and stuff, super bad for the environment, super like unethical to animals. And so if you're hunting a wild animal that's lived its whole life in the wild, if you take one animal out, it's not like you're, like, no, that's the most like ethical way you could eat meat, in my opinion. That's why I started hunting. Yeah, and I know there is a difference. Yeah. Like totally, people who like live off the land and then they only hunt off yeah. the land. Are you living farm? Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> damn. <laughs> Gotta stay quick with it. It was nice to meet you. No. <laughs> Gotta stay quick with it. It was nice to meet with this. Sounded like his tagline. Like, gotta stay quick with it. Nice to meet you. Bye. Are you, do you have fake boobs? Hey, it was good to meet you. And always remember, you gotta stay quick with it. All right, take care. You're kind of funny, but like, <laughs> why? Come on, I needed my chance. Um, I just knew she was gonna hit it on me. And honestly, you seem really tall too. And Are I'm you like, short? I'm 5'11", like I'm not short. I'm literally 5'9". Really? Yeah. Are you wearing heels? Yes. Okay, that's probably what it is. Come on. Anyway, <laughs> it was nice to meet you. I like your dress. I'm a big fan of sundresses. Oh, thank you. It's actually a two piece. Will has gotten a lot of women pregnant. Oh. What the fuck is happening? What the fuck is going? Everything, everything just keeps like, it gets a, it just keeps getting better and weirder. I was kind of stuck on what he had just said. I'm a big fan of sundresses because like that's a little that's like bordering on kind of like creepo. And then right after that, Will has gotten a lot of women pregnant, all of which were wearing sundresses at the time. Like you know, what is happening? Oh, really? How many? Something over fifty. Um, I'm a sperm. I was a sperm donor. So. So you make bank then? I did in college. So oh okay. Oh, now so I'm out of college. college. I'm done with that. Will. And you have. 50 kids. Wow, that's nuts. Did max out though. They cut them off. Yeah, they cut me off. Yeah, I was gonna say, did you successful? I'll say successful. <laughs> Do you want kids? Um, I think so. It just depends whether or not I feel like ethical bringing more people into the world by the time I want kids. <laughs> Awkward. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who was first. Will got there first, but by a hair. I just wasn't vibing. Mm, yeah. Past. No, not the vibe. Was well, it his 50 kids? You know, that could be part of it. <laughs> Contributing to overpopulation, but you know, it's okay. It's That's okay. fair. It was really nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Yeah, have a good one. You too. He's a sperm donor and has like 50 kids out there somewhere. Wait, wait, I'm like, what? overpopulation much? Wait, wait, wait. How's it going? Overpopulation? Hey. What's your name? Ida. I'm Will. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Name the most unattractive. Her name is Ida. That's a good one. You could, you could get him with that one, you know? I, I'd, uh, I'd the best person you'll ever date. <laughs> Gotta be quick with it. Feature about the person sitting across from you. Holy Damn. shit. Damn! Oh, okay. I just don't like this. The sash. You don't Sorry. like the sash? I don't. It's literally hanging over your lips, so then if some- Okay. It, mm, but I I'm a good kisser, so like, it makes up for it. I mean, I like your hair, but I feel like it's not natural, right? No, it's not. This ain't yeah. my real hair. Yeah, no, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, I'm very much like a, like, I like girls to be more natural, but- <laughs> Oh, God. Oh, my God. Fuck. Dude. How do you keep saying the worst shit? I just like girls and we prefer to be a little bit more natural. That's standard if like that's the length of hair you want. That takes a long time to grow out. So yeah, I'd yeah. imagine that's a lot of work, so. You dated outside of your ethnicity before? I have. My dating experience started off dating more of White his, boys? Yeah, I dated okay. white boys at first. I've only had a few relationships, but okay. like casually seeing people, yeah, I've pretty much been with everything under the sun, black, Asian, Indian, you know, Middle Eastern. Could you see yourselves together? The sash. Middle Eastern, this is, I mean, this is another world over there. Another world. Throw me off. Really? I, just hate, I really hate mustaches. I'm hey. sorry. I had a boyfriend who tried to do that and it, I threw up. I, I, it literally made so me So my face up. is no, making you want to throw up. Ah, I'm sorry. Shit, he's quick. <laughs> oh. You gotta stay quick with it. I tell everyone that. It's my catchphrase. You gotta stay quick with it. Oh, man. This is crazy. There, I've never... There's something in the air. There's something in the air. This is anti... What am I saying? This is the opposite of chemistry. This is... What's the opposite of chemistry? Biology? 
This is just like she, he said. All right, your my face is making you want to throw up. Then, like, could you between him saying I like girls that are a little bit more natural and her actually physically gagging at his face? Could you have a worse date than that? That's insane. That's like, insane. honestly, okay. I feel like we could be friends, but no, you seem really cool. Yeah. I, mean, I mean, you would barf if you kept. Stuff yeah, like I can do it. I can do it. I would, make, I would probably Fine, just make I'll you shave. This. I would make you shave. Okay. Yeah. Nice to meet nice you. To meet you. Yeah, have a good one. What kind of music are you a fan of? I've been really into like R&B, soul, funk, okay. jazz, some hip hop. So like anything you can dance to, but I are really like- Are you a dancer? Like, uh, yeah. I like <laughs> grew up dancing. Okay. My parents- Let's see some dance moves. I'm me in ballet when I was really little and then I switched to hip. Really? Really, Button? You're losing your touch. Um, you look very like physically fit. I like being active, like especially when it's nice out. Okay. Like I like being outside, like going on hikes. So you're outdoors. Um, like r relatively, relatively, I don't want to do like a one month backpack. So you wouldn't do a backpacking trip? <laughs> are you like, like are you like, like, like a glamper or are you like can you do like a weekend on the ground, dirt? Oh fire? yeah, I've done that before. Okay. Okay. How do you feel about dating older women? I have dated older women. Like how much older? So I was talking to a girl who's 30. I've been with a woman who's 40. 40? Mm-hmm. Wait, how old are you? How old do you think I am? 26. 25. How old are you? What do you think? <laughs> Dude, you gotta be... <laughs> I feel like this guy doesn't really have a filter when it comes to this stuff, and so he's not gonna say something good here. He's gonna be like, I don't know, like, yeah, I don't know, 58? I feel like you're 27. I'm 31. No way. Yeah. So how do you feel about younger guys? I've been on dates with people that were born in the 2000s. Oh my gosh. Is that legal? <laughs> You've been on a date with a 40 year old. Okay, that's different. I was. How is that different? <laughs> that's fair. Okay, fair enough. Are you two? Vibe. I'm having I think a good I time. I like you. Yeah. yeah. You think you like me? I didn't Just say think. Bit. I said I like. Oh, you, you did? Okay. No, I like you. You seem nice. Okay, I want to try something. If you guys consent. I want you to hold hands and then stare into each other's eyes for 10 seconds. I love eye contact. <laughs> no talking. You have really nice eyes. I'm sorry, I can't Thank talk. Thank you. Oh my bad. Okay, I'll take that. <laughs> I'm gonna go red again. If you don't press me, I'm gonna send you two in another day. Yeah! God, that felt fucking good. I live for those moments now. I live for those moments now. Oh, look at him too. He was like, oh, he thought he had it in. He thought he was, he thought he was getting some. What if she was like, sorry, you gotta be quick with it. Oh, I don't feel like a spark for okay. me personally. That's fair. I actually, honestly, like I went on a date before I came here and I really <laughs> like this girl. And so See, this is actually go. kind of like perfect. Oh, okay. I hate the you fire, you can't fire me, I quit moments. I hate those. I hate those. Actually, I don't fucking need this because I just went on a date literally right before this and it was at a tattoo shop and they got a full chest piece. And I love them. I love it. And I love tattoos. It's anyway, just like validation but is, that you should but is, see that person. It is again. really nice to me. Yeah. Though. Good to meet you. Yeah, have a good one. <laughs> Thank you. Damn. That was a really good one. Like, it's so hard to watch. That was crazy. That was just like, oh my God. That was just uh, as many bad dates as I've ever seen in my entire life. Like, that's crazy. So many, I mean, that was amazing. All right, guys, thanks for watching the video. I just got a brand new chess piece. Really wanted to show it to you. See you next time. I like the way they do